This Panzer IV video covers the installation of the cupola and the a little bit of the detailing for the turret. So let's start out by getting some sandpaper, both rough and fine, rough and fine. And let's sand down these buttons before we start. Just give them a quick scrapey scrape on each side. Go ahead and glue the first one down to the top of the cupola so it has a little bit of time to set in place. Now um, I'm going to change the size of this. It's uh, too large and set a little bit forward. So when you put your button on, you want to make sure the back of it sort of lines up with the rear of the turret. If you hadn't installed this ration box, it would come up on an angle and then kind of go straight up into the cupola as part of the back of the turret. If you can imagine that, or if you don't have the ration box installed, if you skip that, just install it so it comes straight up in a, in a flush line from the angle of the rear of the turret here. <coughs> okay, so once you've got that glued into place, um, give that a second to dry. And we're just going to, and I've got a couple of oval Google eyes, and I've got one two and a half millimeter one, and I'm using uh, different kinds because this vent and this vent look a little bit different from each other. So I'm gonna use the two and a half millimeter Google eye base for the rear one, and I'm gonna use the pupil from these um, oval Google eye for the forward one and this front circle on the uh, turret. So once you've got the back backing of the Google Eye cut apart from the main piece, I'd recommend just making sure to remove the little bit of clear plastic that's usually stuck to the uh, Google Eye backing by just rubbing it on some sandpaper. And do it on both sides because that will help aid it in gluing down. I've also got a sequin here, it's part of the cupola. You want to make sure that you sand the convex side. So they're sl slightly um, spooned. And uh, if it was a spoon, you'd be sanding the side that you don't eat with. I guess, hopefully that makes sense. And I got a seven millimeter hole punch disc here. That's also part of the cupola, but it's already been sanded. And I'm going to cut these little circles, the uh, the pupils, out of these oval Google eyes. Oh, there it goes. And give them a quick sand on fine sandpaper as well, just to aid gluing them down. Otherwise, they kind of seem to slip around quite easily. and also makes them a lot easier to paint. Paint won't tend to stick to them very well if you don't do that. This seems to be attached somehow to the backing, which is odd. How can it Google if it's glued in place? There we go. Now we've got all our parts prepared. Take this uh, four to one glue. Actually, let's use uh, super glue to glue the second um, layer of buttons on. This is plastic to plastic bond. Super glue or modeling glue is always better. The one disadvantage is if you don't get it in exactly the right place, you're gonna have to lift it off and try again. And you can do that by just slipping your blade uh, scraper blade in between the two layers and separating them. Looks like I got a good even bond this time. But don't be afraid that if you do mess it up, just set this between them and you should be able to pop it apart. You may dislodge this one, just glue it back down. It's not a big deal. 
So now we've got that on there, we can proceed with gluing the rest of these pieces on. Like I said, I'm going to put the Google Eye pupil forward and the Google Eye base back. And I'm going to put other pupil here. And now um, I'm going to glue the seven millimeter hole punch disc down to the top of the cupola here. And the reason I'm layering the whole top of the button in glue like this is because if you leave some of it not covered in glue, it can kind of create an optical illusion and it's a lot harder to center this seven millimeter hole punch disc. So it's, if you have a sort of a white glue even circle around the whole thing, you see how that's darker red now and this is light? It's really hard to tell whether it's centered if it's not the same all the way around. I'm happy with that. Once you got that in place, <clears throat> then you want to glue the sequin concave side down onto the center of the 7 millimeter hole punch disc. And then we'll add the machine gun and some hinges and stuff later when we're doing the fine detailing. But that gets you the base cupola and uh, a little bit of the detailing for the turret. So if you like this video, uh, make sure to subscribe to the website. And uh, a special thanks to Glenn Calvin for uploading the Panther G template to the website. It's an advanced version of the Panther that uh, I cover in videos. It's got a whole lot of extra details and stuff like that. Um, and he did a really good job with the template. So uh, experienced scratch builders might want to try that one. Um, and uh, anyone, if you have ideas for better ways to build my models or templates you'd like to uh, give to the community, sign up for the website. And uh, it's, it's free to use, so you can build lots of models. And um, thanks for watching. See you soon.